Deb Croucher here from Brilliant Digital. I'm here to talk about how to market your business through this COVID-19 crisis. And um, first thing to say, you cannot disappear. If you disappear during a downturn, when the market comes back at the end of the downturn and as, the, as it all rises back again, which it will, um, you will be invisible, you will be forgotten, people will assume that you went bust, they will assume that you're not around, you're not strong and you will lose that market share. So you really do need to keep marketing through the crisis. Okay, first thing, website. Make sure that your website is, is really relevant, really current, really up to date. It's a great opportunity to explain on your website how you are managing the crisis. Talk to your market about the strengths, talk, talk to your market about how you're managing your team, how you're working from home, whatever it is that you are all doing, how you're managing the supply chain, whatever it is that you are doing to keep your business rolling forwards. Make sure your website communicates that. Make sure your website communicates that there are still solutions for clients. You might be, you might be um, providing solutions online, but you're still providing providing those solutions. Um, so that's really, really important. The next thing is to tell your database the same thing. So go out to your database regularly through the crisis in the same way that you probably already do. Just communicating that it's business as usual as best you can, that you've got measures in place to deal with infection, that you've got measures in place to get your team working from home, all those good things so that people know that you're still here and you're managing and you're doing really well. Advertising. you can cannot afford to turn advertising off during a crisis because what happens is that people who are looking for you um, can't find you. If you're using Google advertising, you disappeared. Um, and also, if you're doing sort of brand advertising, display advertising, people need to keep seeing that so that they know you're around and they know that you're strong. Content SEO, organic traffic. So this is all about coming up in Google when people search for you. This time now is a fantastic time to be working on your organic content. So building content that's relevant to your market, that's informative, that's helpful, that is going to grow your digital footprint, grow um, your digital presence, and grow the amount of traffic that comes from people just doing Google searches around your industry. So spend the time, look at content plans, and, and get those things happening so that you've got that content rolling out and ready to go when, when everything comes back. With social media, it's certainly important to keep a social media presence running if that's what you, you normally do. I think um, this is a time to be sensitive, this is a time to be helpful, this is a time to be thoughtful, um, and this is a time to talk about how businesses and communities are coming together to work together to, to um, to get through these times. Um, good news stories, I think, uh, are, are important at this time. LinkedIn is, is a, a really useful platform if you've got sales teams that are sitting around not able to get out as much as they could, um, you know, people not able to, to visit people in person. LinkedIn's a great, a great way to, to go and directly target people that you've been trying to get in touch with. And you can use technologies like Zoom to, to have virtual meetings with two or three people all in different locations and, and you know, really connect with, with new markets. So if you, if you haven't got your head around those new technologies, jump on, get involved and, and you know, get to virtual meetings because it's a great way to keep business rolling. Questions and concerns WSBC um, are a fantastic community. They're, they're business as usual. There's heaps gone of support available there. They're really, really well connected in with the, the community and, and, and ways we can get support. Um, and there's also resources on their website. And there's resources on our website, brilliantdigital.com.au.